In a little over 24 hours, Michigan will take the field in the Big Ten championship game for the first time in program history. Sports director Brad Galley joining us live outside Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, where the anticipation is building for Saturday's title game. Brad. Michigan made it to Indianapolis. If you thought before the season that the Wolverines would be here at Lucas Oil Stadium playing for the Big Ten Championship, there's a good chance you work inside Shen Beckler Hall. Expectations for U of M are annually sky high, but coming out of the 2-4 and four record in the COVID-shortened season in 2020, there wasn't a lot expected of this year's Michigan team. And then everything changed. After the 2020 season, Michigan made changes to its football program. Jim Harbaugh and Ward Manuel reworked the coach's contract. Mike McDonald was brought in as the new defensive coordinator. And the mindset about Ohio State became a rallying cry, a daily one. You know, to win the championship, to, uh, you know, to, to win the, beat Ohio. And we're going to do it or die trying. I'm 0-2 against Ohio State. Every day we got one thing on our mind, and that's Ohio State. And what are we going to do to beat them? It's something that drives me. September started with blowout wins and a run game that was dominating opponents. But was it a sign of real progress? On the outside, doubt was loud. Guys in uniforms believed. I feel like we can go really far. Uh, I think if we keep our head down, keep doing what we're doing, uh, we'll go far. You know, we want to be the best team, you know, in the country. You know, we're not just trying to be the best team in the Big Ten. The belief was strong. They said they were more together. Then that mantra was hammered home. The Big Ten slate opened with a win over Rutgers, then two road trips. Jump around at Wisconsin? Sure. The test and clinching victory at Nebraska? The attitude was shifting. It was different. Or back, if you want to say that. And it was clearly evident. Michigan teams in the past, no disrespect, but I think um, since I've been at Michigan, I think we lose this game sometimes. And I think it's a testament to the guys in that locker room the coaches who have made a commitment to make this year different, and I think we got something special here. They really like football. You see it when they, when they practice, the energy that they bring, the fun they're having, the grit. Michigan beat Nebraska to set up an undefeated battle with in-state rival Michigan State. Spartans beat the Wolverines, and U of M knew it needed help on the outside. It had plenty of time left in the regular season. I think we're still in contention. We, get, we still got all our, our goals in front of us. Um, you know, it's a tough loss, but, but one that I think we can bounce back from. Win over Indiana, a win at Penn State. Well, we definitely have enough talent, and I think overall our mentality as a team has shifted, and I think this team is ready to finish this season, and I think by the end of it, we should be competing for a championship if we do what we're supposed to do. The Maryland game wasn't close, and so the Big Ten East would be decided at the big house. The victory was decisive. But what we've done on this field, offense, defense, we are firing all cylinders. I'm so proud of this team. Aiden Hutchinson came back. He declined to go to the NFL draft. He's just one of the guys that has made such a huge difference for this Michigan team. A big reason why so many people think Michigan's defensive line will overpower whatever offense Iowa has. But in returning to Michigan, Hutchinson said on the field Saturday to me, this is why he came back. Task isn't done. Coming up at 6, we'll have more from the Wolverines on what they expect from Iowa and how much this game means to them in this program. Reporting live from Indianapolis, Brad Galley, 7 Action Sports.